In my book, Introduction to Turk's Head Knots, it uh, talks about algorithms. And uh, I had somebody ask me that needed help on the algorithm diagram for pineapple knots. And it explains in here. But what I want to do is show what some of this information is what these stand for. The A is the number of passes in the knot. So this is a two pass knot. So A equals two. The L is the bite boundary on the left hand side that the interweave knot is being tied on. So this is bite boundary number one that you're uh, primary knots tied on and this is bite boundary number two that your uh, uh, interweave knots tied on. Now I made some copies so that I can draw on here without drawing in the book but this would be bite boundary number one. This is bite boundary number two on the left hand side of the knot. This is bite boundary number one on the right hand side of the knot. This is bite boundary number two on the left hand side of the knot or on the right hand side of the knot I probably said that backwards on this one too okay so this is the left side so this L equals two is because it's on bite boundary number two on the left hand side R is the bite boundary that the interweave knot is on on the right hand side so it is on number two okay so that explains these now when this is set up well first off your interweave knot in a type one pineapple is two parts less than the primary knot the primary knot in this knot is a seven part knot. So the interweave is two parts less. So it is a five part. So the knot you're tying inside of the seven part six byte primary costa knot is a five part six byte costa knot. So this is the algorithm diagram that you work up for a five part six byte knot. Now to turn it into a the algorithm diagram for a pineapple knot all you do is you add an under on this side and an under on that side and it doesn't matter if it's a type 1 type 2 type 3 that's all you do to set it up the bite boundaries and everything is what changes it now you have to have above it everything is minus one so the L which was two is now a one so that is an under the A which is two is minus one so that's just a one just an over one that's an under one that's an over one now on a type one where there's no cycle numbers under this under if this is r minus two or r equals two so r minus one is one so that just stays a uh, under one through the knot because there's nothing that changes it same thing with this under here there isn't a cycle number above it so it'll always stay l minus one which is one good 2 minus 1 is 1, so that'll always stay an under. And 
now to go through this knot. Now, this algorithm diagram down here is the same one that this is. And this one's a little bit more spread out and easier to look at. It's giving me some space here to write. So we'll use it. But it is the same one that is under the drawing right here. Okay, now, when you tie a knot, the number of half cycles in the knot is twice the number of bytes. So if this is a six byte knot, you have 12 half cycles. Well, in this drawing, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That, each drawing represents a half cycle. Now, if we were writing out the run list, we'd write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That would be the numbers of our half cycles. And what if I'm using an algorithm diagram, what I like to do out here is write down the half cycle number that, or the cycle number that I'd use. And on the first one, it's a negative 1. Then it's a 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. That would be, and then you'd write out your, your run list. Well, on here, let's just this. This drawing, we're looking for a negative 1. This drawing, we're looking for a 0. This drawing, we're looking for 0. This one, we're looking for a 1. This one, looking for a 1. This one, we're looking for 2. This one, 2. This is a 3. This is a 3. This one's a 4. This one's a 5. And this is the 6. No, 5 again. No, I've got this all messed up. 4, 4, and this is a 5. Okay. Because you repeat the number twice. Okay. So, our first half cycle, going left to right, and the ones going from left to right, you use the top. The ones going from right to, to left, you use the bottom of your uh, diagram here. So we're looking for negative one. There is no negative ones. So it's just and on this drawing see how this is, says under two? Right here is our byte boundary. This starts at the byte boundary right there. So this first under, you have to go under to get to the byte boundary, but this doesn't show you that. So on here, we're just under one, over one, under one, over one, under one. Now on this side, we're at this byte boundary right here, and we're gonna go from this side going that way, this is an under, because this is R minus 1, that's, these are all 1s, because this is a 2, 2, 2, and this is all minus 1, so each one of these is a 1, so the letter here is just what it is one time. So here we've got, and now we're reading this going this way. And we're reading this going this way like you read. But this is an under, over, under, over, under. Now we're at the top looking for a zero. We don't have a zero. So it's just under, over, under, over, under. Now here we're, we're at the bottom going this way. And we're looking for one. 
the one is right there. So that makes that an under two. Because once, once you hit that cycle number, you add one to whatever this under is. So we got under two over, under, over, under. Now we're at the top and we're looking for one. It's right there. So that makes that an under two. And it's under two, over, under, over, under, right down through there. Now we're looking for two. It's right there. So it makes that a two. And that gives us this. I don't know if you can see that. And now we're looking for two again at the top. It's right there. So that makes that a two. Now we're at the bottom. We're looking for a three. It's right there. It makes that a two. And that gives us this sequence. Now we're at the top looking for three. So that is our three. So it makes that a two. And it gives us that sequence. Now we're looking for four. And we're at the bottom going this way. And there's our four. So it makes this one a two. So it's under two, over two, under two, over two, under one. Now we're at the top looking for the four. So it makes that a two. And that finishes our drawing or finishes our knot. Okay, now that is a type one pineapple. Here is the page for a type 2 pineapple. And what a type 2 pineapple does is it goes you're tying two casa knots that are the same size. And the primary casa knot goes from bite boundary number one to bite boundary number two. Your second, your interweave goes from bite boundary number two to bite boundary number one. So it goes outside of your primary knot. And it's a type two because it starts on the Second bite boundary. Well, they both start on the second bite boundary, but this one goes outside. So now we're using this. This part of the drawing is showing how to tie our primary knot, which is a 5 4. So our interweave knot is two less than that. So it, oh, no, because this is a type two. So they're both 5 4. So you work up a 5 4. For this, you add the under on this side and the under on that side for a pineapple knot. Our number of passes is two, so A equals two. Our left side, it's on bite boundary number two, so that's a two. Our right side is on bite boundary number one out here, so it is a one. Now, where there isn't a cycle number under this one, and this is one minus one, this is a zero. We will never use that in tying this knot. Now, over here, L is two, so this is always gonna be a one. Okay, to follow this, let's put our uh, negative one, Zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three. That's our cycle numbers that we're going to be using. So we're, there isn't a, a negative one. So going from left to right, our first half cycle is just going to be uh, under, over, under, over. And in the drawing, it says under two, but this under isn't calculated here 
we start at our bite boundary. And that's our under, over, under, over. Okay, so now we're at the bottom, going right to left, reading this right to left, and we're looking for a zero. It is right there. There's our zero. So that makes this an over two. So we've got, and we're reading it. Oh, an R minus one is zero. So that we're not counting until we use number three. So we've got over, under, over, two, under. Same thing here. Over, under, over, two, under. Now we're at the top and we're looking for zero. It's right there. So that makes that a two. So it's under, over, under, over, two. Now we're looking for one. It's right here. So that's a two. Now this is still zero, so we're not looking at it. So it's over, under two, over two, under. Now we're looking here. We're at the top going that way looking for one. There's our one right there. So that's gonna be that a two. So it's under, over, under two, over two. Now we're at the bottom looking for two. It's right there, so it makes that a over two. So we're looking for over two, under two, over two, under. Now we're at the top looking for two. It's right there, so it makes that a over two. So we've got under, over two, under two, over two. Now we're at the bottom looking for three. It's right there, so that makes that a one, under one. So it's under one. Over two, under two, over two, under two. Uh, I hope that will clear up a little bit of using these algorithm diagrams for an interweave on a pineapple. But I don't use them because it's easier for me. I've learned how to follow the knot, so I just follow the knot. And I don't need a, a run list or an algorithm diagram for tying an interweave. But I'll hope this has helped and thank you for watching.